Unemployment, the need for adequate housing, health, and mental care. The COVID pandemic widening the gaps and barriers that exist for Houston's trans community. Members are often overlooked and discriminated against in ways that have made them more vulnerable. In this afternoon's Stronger Houston, how local nonprofits and advocacy groups are working harder than ever to bridge the divide. Six months ago, Mia Porter hit rock bottom. I lost my mind. Coping with the deaths of three loved ones and the end of her marriage, while financially supporting her family and facing eviction, the mounting pressure of it all pushed Mia past her breaking point. I had to go to a psychiatric unit. I had to check out of life. It was too much. Whether it's finding help, employment, housing, health, or mental health care, the pandemic has only exacerbated the challenges and inequities the transgender community had to face before COVID. It was very challenging for me as a trans woman. I've already found it challenging, just life in general. Mia Porter found the help she needed at the Montrose Center. The trans community is often one of the most overlooked communities in the times of disaster. Montrose Center. When COVID hit, the Montrose Center, which serves Houston's LGBT community at large, saw a sharp increase in requests for help among Houston's trans community. For uh, a trans community member uh, during the pandemic, it's incredibly difficult to find places where they can get treatment, whether that's for COVID or, or otherwise. But this is kind of where clients would be able to come up. Would... So the Montrose Center immediately launched a recovery fund to help with rent, food and utilities. In the first few months of the pandemic, they raised over one and a half million dollars for COVID relief. We found that there were a lot of community members, specifically trans community members, that did not feel safe to go to other social service agencies because they were afraid that they would be turned away or discriminated against because of their status as a trans community member. To further support the city's trans community, the Montrose Center partnered with the Transgender Education Network of Texas and Save Our Sisters United, a Houston-based group for trans people of color to form a coalition. It showed me what we could do when we're connected and we're empowered. Atlantis Narciss is the organization's founder and the volunteer coordinator at the Montrose Center. When the pandemic started, she immediately began to worry about those members of her community who were already struggling to begin with service, sex, and gig workers. We start seeing people not choosing between either I pay my bills or I get my HRTs, or I choose to eat this day or get my HRTs. HRT stands for Hormone Replacement Therapy. Through a foundation grant, Save Our Sisters United has been able to provide money for food, shelter, basic necessities, and medication like HRTs. COVID direct relief fund allow us to put trans people first, not every trans person comes with the same needs. And if we can't give them to what they need, to start making noise to make sure that need is soon to be met in the near future. Save Our Sisters United has since expanded its reach and is now helping both trans women and men in the Houston area. Advocates say through these partnerships, they're saving lives. What you see is me getting myself back together. Mia says as embarrassed as she was to ask for help, one of the smartest decisions she ever made was to accept it from the Montrose Center. You have to take advantage of those resources when you're at wit's end. She says her ongoing therapy sessions with her counselor continue to make all the difference in the world. I wouldn't be the person I am 